Hello there, this is Vin Fournier, a benevolent side of I'm going to continue the Soul Survivor campaign. If you let me to Las Sagius, Las Sagius, and all that stuff. Okay, so here's Deadly Spiral. Deadly Spiral. So, uh, I was going to play it on easy first and then normal. Let's see what I can do just on normal. But yeah, let's pick someone better. Like this guy has an inhibitor. That one doesn't. That's a power station. Those. Yeah, he doesn't have that. This one has an inhibitor and a power station. Power station is kind of lame though. Inhibitor and slow goo maybe. I mean, that slow goo kind of just doubles the effect maybe. I don't know, does it double it or does it just count as the same? Like there's probably just a limit or something. But lasers, flamethrowers are cool. Radiation, anti-air flak, and lightning bolt versus drones, missiles. I mean, I sort of like this loadout better. So yeah, let's go with the weird thing. Because of the better loadout. So, let's see how bad this is. Yep, that's pretty bad. Okay, so the f choke point is the final one. How lovely. Oh my word. I am not thrilled about this. I'll tell you what. joy. Are we out of power already? Nope, okay. Let's see. Oh, lasers. Yeah. Oh, we don't have any other things? Alright. Oh, I was thinking I had gotten the one that had, um, what was it? Uh, flamethrowers for a second. But nope, I got this guy. Ah, the joy. Alrighty, this is gonna be a ton of micro, I'll tell you what. Five landing pads at once. Oh, joy. Attack waves they just won't stop coming. Like that poor guy that just had uh, stopped. Sorry about the frame rate glitching, I just would rather keep things going. Let's see one over there. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. I don't see the frame rate glitching myself. I'm sorry that it looks bad. My computer is a potato. Uh, hopefully someday I'll be able to afford one, or if anyone wants to buy one from the wish list I have. I don't know how to use the wish list, so. I mean, I listed them, and it probably detracts people from liking my page, but it's like, if you really don't like how it looks enough, there you go, there's a route to fix it. At some point, I'll probably have to find work at a sweatshop yet again and deal with that. And get the whole fun of, uh, you know, the joy of putting up with all that crap just to be able to barely afford to eat and maybe save up for a computer which is a one-time expense versus a continuous expense uh, yeah it, it's fun how everything keeps upping in price like I wanted to get eggs at Dollar General although transporting them back would be a little bit more fun than I'd like since I walk and it's like nope that was fun. 
it was a dollar ninety-five and only had seven dollars and six cents left, so yay. I got two loaves of bread that were a buck fifty a piece and two five packs of ramen that were a dollar twenty-five each. I'm sure others can find better things to buy, but the closest place I have to get food is that one. And I have no transportation to stores most weeks, so it's a joy. <sighs> joy, joy, joy. So much fun. But woe is me, right? World's tiniest violin from everyone in good circumstances. Yay. Good for them. so much. It's just what I excel at aside from losing everything and losing everyone I've ever known. That's always fun too. But, oh well. Yay for being sorry for living, I guess. don't have flares for when they get past. We still have 20 colonists, so they haven't gotten past quite yet, but who knows? It can always change in an instant, just like a sudden change in bad weather, or having a stroke, or whatever else can make life suck suddenly. Ah, <sighs> the joy. I'm trying to make content on YouTube, so getting a stroke is a real scary thing for me, just because, like, my desk chair sucks. Oh, come on, stop! Alright, gonna need more inhibitors over yonder. Ah, <sighs> the joy. Well, at least it's not completely over yet. We are only at 8 of 20. Yay. Alright, maybe build a tower. Oh uh, no. We have no power for those stupid towers. Okay. Oh, I was thinking, would it be kind of in bad taste to play the tower attack game for tomorrow? Which tomorrow is the 11th. I'm sure that would go well, right? I'm sure there's always someone willing to be offended. Ah well. I'm not an ENTP, but I do sometimes think that would be fun. Just because it's always easier to make everyone upset at you and call you names than it is to be popular. Of course, everyone thinks that they're a better person for being angry and offended and all that sort of crap, so I guess that's a thing too. Like, critics, you know? It's always easier to sound real when you're cursing and you know, condemning something than when you're giving prizes to it and sounding sycophantic. Ah, <sighs> the joy. Because pessimism is a real thing, because you know, for the most part, enemies multiply kisses, kind of thing, is the proverb that that would pertain to. But, you know, there's some enemies that do that route of pretending to be friendly before being evil outright. That's the ones that multiply kisses, while most are just mockers and scoffers who are openly rude. Although, you know, it is better that they're openly enemies rather than falsely friends. <sighs> Who knows, though. I always get plenty of both. That's always fun, right?
Oh my word. Probably should get another inhibitor out here somewhere. Before the end. The end of everything. Of this kind of stuff anyway, I mean. In my opinion, it's probably a few centuries out from the actual end to end, but what do I know? I can just make guesses that will probably be counted as heresy. Or who knows what. Everything's heresy though, right? If you don't agree with it, then it's heresy. That's the rule of thumb, because... Everyone's school of thought is perfect, and any disagreement is absolutely anathema. No ifs, ands, or buts. Anathema. Can't consider anything whatsoever. There is true and false, there is right and wrong, but sometimes people go overboard and nitpick things that are trivial to pretend that they're more than they are. Mountains and the molehills. And while the sentiment might be nice, the effect isn't. Because the effect is blind alienation over trivialities. When they are trivialities, of course. Sometimes things do actually matter, but the things that seem to matter to most can tend to be trivial. But that's the way everyone gets to feel better about themselves by treating others badly, by laughing at their pain, by being like, hey, I'm blessed, therefore I'm righteous, that kind of thing. That's always fun. <sighs> the joy. Joy, joy, joy. Yeah, let's get some more mana. And another inhibitor over here, maybe. Let's see, are we getting bad guys all the way over there yet? Nope, we're still at 20 civilians that haven't been eaten alive. That's always nice. Okay, time for more lightning turrets on the hilltop. Let's see, how far are they getting though? Ah, <sighs> the joy. I usually prefer to play this on easy first to see what the map looks like rather than figure it out in one go, but yeah, here's some Lovely Schadenfraud fuel, I guess. Or, you know, I'm not saying it correctly, but you know what it is. That enjoying the misery of others kind of thing. I don't. It makes me sad. But others seem to find contentment at mocking others. Whether they pretend to or not. So, I don't know. That's just depressing, you know. It, it's like... I, I know, like, uh, you know, gifts with sound and cubes don't always have the best thumbnails, but sometimes they are rather funny, funny like America's Funniest Home Videos. Just mostly in Russian. I don't understand the Russian enough to get most of the jokes that are complex, but most situations are common for everyone. But I do not like it when they show animals getting hurt. That's just like messed up. You know, I, I don't get why some like watching that portion of them. For the things that aren't bad like that, they're cool, but yeah. I, I don't like seeing like ducks fall into a portion of a dam or otherwise horrific things that need to not exist in this universe anymore things that wouldn't be if the fall never occurred. But oh well. The joy of dealing with 
everyone laughing at things sadistically is kind of disturbing, really. <sighs> you know, it's like having someone fight war because they love war versus having someone fight war because they have a good cause or actually just wanting to win in a way that's not bad. You know, like, um, eh, it doesn't matter, no one's even watching. Whatever, though. Well, to anyone who does bother to watch, thank you for watching. And uh, it would be nice to not be ignored and not to have negative attention either, though. But, oh well. I think this is the most lightning towers I've ever built. Yeah, let's hope it actually works. Spider things. Let's see, does the tornado do anything against those? They do hover. Come on, come on. joy. I think this ought to cover it. It's just a matter of time. And we still have 20 civilians somehow. Yay, I actually think I've won so far. Could always be something at the very last minute though. That would be joyful, wouldn't it? So much joy. Okay. There we go. Right? Is that it? Yay, we actually got it. Oh my word. Yay, I'm a lieutenant general. There's no song for that. I'd rather be a modern major general. I am the very model of a modern major general. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not a Solarian though. Alrighty, so that was Deadly Spiral on the Los Aegeus campaign. So, now you have an idea of what to face. Sorry that it's frame rate glitchy. My computer sucks. Sorry, just sorry. I'm from Texas, but I say sorry more than Canadians do. Congrats, everyone. Anyway, take care everyone and try not to go crazy.